So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the camera around. This is how not to install a fence. I'm afraid to like flip the camera around. The company came out in one day, one day did this whole job. Okay, so just going off of that picture right now, what do we see? The top is level, it looks level. It's not following the grade, because I can see at the bottom where they've, looks like they've cut the pickets. And notice that we have a two by four here, and I'm gonna assume that that two by four is to splice some boards together because we exceeded our max spacing. And we didn't want to set another post, we just wanted to somehow make it work. And it, so it looks like maybe that bottom rail two by four goes to this vertical two by four. It's That's a post. a post, that has to be a post. But it looks smaller than that one. I also noticed the post in the corner here being, uh, you know, maybe eight, 10 inches taller. We have a height difference. It comes across and then this one comes in like right here. The it's, rails don't match the existing, the heights don't match the existing, the post is too tall. If we left that much post out, how much post went on the ground? So that's a good question. Same thing over there on the corner. And then also, how come we didn't put that post up against the house or closer to the house? There's a lot of questions, a lot of questions. This is why you can't use paneling on contoured yards like ours, but this was a professional, legit, paid for job. I disagree. This was not a professional, I, I, legit I, 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 company. I, yeah, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it good, gets better. <laughs> good night. <laughs> this is some freaking fence magic. And now I can see it because those two by fours are not true two by fours. This is definitely a panel system. Posts just run wild. Look at those gaps. It blows my mind that somebody can do this and get away with it because if I even tried to have a gap, we're getting yelled at for having one inch gaps at the gate that are, are necessary. You need them. And these people are, you could drive a truck under that. Dude, check this out. Look at this. You can't pack the fence. Oh, look yeah. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh it's not even look. nailed on look. there. What are they doing? Look at the gap. Look. Look right here. Look right here. Okay, I just want to say for the record, that is concrete dust right there on that post. He's there shaking this post. For all the people that are, oh, you can't do it right. If you, if there ain't some creed on that, got to get that creed on there. You need at least creed, a good 60 pounds. That creed makes that post real good. Well, guess what? This post has creed, and it is, it is really bad. Oh, creed does not solve all the problems. They've easily got 60, maybe even 80 pounds of creed on that, and it's not doing its job. Concrete doesn't solve all your problems. You can install concrete improperly and have a terrible fence. Uh, how deep do you think, based on what you see here? It's less than 18 inches. Less than 18 inches, and they use concrete. So they probably only used one bag of concrete, just like you thought. So there's not even enough. I bet you that hole is probably just barely bigger than the post. My favorite is when people tell me how much concrete they used on their fence and weight. They're like, oh, that, that every post has got, got 60 pounds of concrete up. That's not going anywhere. In the commercial industry, we, have, we talk about how many yards of concrete. It, it's a tenth of a yard because that's like five bags of concrete. Put two by four. Check this oh, out. Oh, that's a rail two extender. Four because the fence oh. did not read. They didn't, they didn't. That's, we joke about this. <laughs> Oh man, this is what you do to your rookies when you have a rookie on your fence crew and you're like, oh, this panel's a little too short. Go to the truck, bottom box, driver's side, there's a panel extender in there. Go get the panel extender and we'll fix this right now. Well, this person actually found a panel extender and it's in the shape of a two by four. Yep, it so. can be done. The rookie found the panel extender. <laughs> This is how you fix it. <laughs> That's how you fix it. Professional. Look at that. Professional. You put it. Just stick a two by four. Yeah. And it'll it'll be it'll be good. Same oh, yeah. thing here. Look, it didn't fit. Nope. So they just put a two by four going across the side. Look at that gap. That'll be right. Now to be clear, you can shake a fence and get it to jiggle, and that doesn't mean it's weak. But I can see the dirt moving at the bottom, and we've talked about post failure a lot. You know what it looks like when a post fails. Well, this is this is post foundation failure for sure. The postmasters that we use. Yes, yeah, so you can get those to ripple down. They don't ever fail at the ground. They don't move in the ground. They're just, it's post movement. Look how, there's nothing straight about mm. this thing whatsoever. I don't want to shake it because I don't want to. Wow. It's like they didn't even try to do a string line. This is not a professional company. This looks like a chuck in a truck. Professional companies do not do this. All right, so coming over here, this is the neighbor's yard. You have this hill right here, right? Yeah. Ooh, goes down. Perfect. Okay, and then comes up. That's what if you, you do. notice the top of the fence. There's a ton of controversy right there because there's some people that think that fences should be rolled, and there's some people that think that fences should step. No, most people think that they should be flat. They're gonna say level, but what they mean is I want it flat. I want the I want from one corner to the other one to be flat, and if it goes on a slope, I just want all the top to line up. In this case, if they were to do that, they would have huge gaps underneath the fence. Yes. Understand that if you want a good fence and you don't want gaps, then you definitely want that fence rolled and to follow the contour of the ground as best 
as possible. If you were going to install this flat, you you know how big of gaps you'd have underneath that fence? Yes. It looks to me like it might only be like getting maybe five foot here, but they cut a bunch of pickets down too. Now you can do that if you want to keep your fence flat and you want to buy taller pickets to close in all the gaps, you can do that, but you're going to have to cut all those pickets and that's going to cost a ton of extra money to have that company do that. No company is going to do that free of charge. So just understand if you want to run your fence flat and you also don't want to have a gap, then you're going to have to buy some extra long pickets for certain areas of your yard and have those custom cut. And that's going to be a serious upcharge. That, that doesn't come free. Don't expect a fence company to do that free of charge. No going into it that that's going to be a, an upcharge, kind of like nails versus screws. You can request that a fence company do screws instead of nails, but expect them to charge for that because it takes a ton of extra time. A lot of extra time. That's, that's our code for our HOA. Same thing with back here. Come around and it goes around, but then come over here. This is a professional yeah, fence I think, company now. Yeah, I think we've seen everything. I would agree with him. I didn't know what we were gonna see, but this is this is the worst of the worst. Yes. Hello. They're saying that that guy is not happy. Tear it out? Yeah, they said, they said that that fence is not gonna stay. I'll let them know. That's but a, they did use Crete. I mean, it shouldn't go anywhere. It was, it was Creted. This right here is atrocious it is it is atrocious yes hands down horrible job and if you want to see how we build wood fence check out this video right over here i'm dan with swi and i'm mark with swi in florida and we hope you have a good dang day